Hello and welcome to the Kimanas Park Highlight Show. In this week's edition, we'll recap select races from Saturday, October 21. Nine races were on offer, including the Race 8 feature event, the Nigel B. Nunes Memorial Trophy. Let's start with Race 1. This was an optional claiming event, going a short distance of 800 meters, a field of 10 reduced to 8 with Special Counsel and Folina Forever, both deemed unfit to run. Start already, they're off for the first. Quantum Dancer misses it. Cold Pursuit and Chinese Music race on the far side. Chinese Music sprinting ahead of Cold Pursuit. Manico is with that group. Sudden Flight is tacking across to the far side, more toward the middle. Nearer to us in the red cap, that's Sakel running a big one. Asa Soup is handily poised in the early exchanges and may have that overall lead as they charge up toward us. Always vigorous, races are right against the stand fence. Quantum Dancer has drifted over there too, but they charge up toward us and it's Asa Soup out in front from Sakel and a sudden flight. Asa Soup with that lead, sudden flight now delivering a challenge and sudden flight skips to the front. It is sudden flight with that lead. Manako running on strongly on the far side, but sudden flight and Abigail Abel, she's more than able, they get there first. It's close between Sakel and Manako, also close between Asa Soup and Cole Pursuit. Female jockey Abigail Abel in the cockpit of Sudden Flight, a five-year-old gelding from the barns of trainer and owner Greg Fennell, takes the day's first event. Race 2 was a restricted allowance event going five and a half furlongs, a small field of six declared to start. KP Choice from the five bots was the one to five favorite in the betting. They're off on racing, stepping a bit slow, that's pretty girl and select me. As Phoenix Risen goes into an early lead as they pass the five. Bugatti tracking in second. Coming down on the outside, that's KP Choice. Then comes Legal Bomb. Four lengths away before we come to Pretty Girl recovering and left at the back of the field, select me. As they pass the four furlong point and head towards the three, and it is Phoenix Risen. A length and a half in front of KP Choice racing in second. Bugatti is right against the rail. Three lengths away before we come to Legal Bomb. At Another four before we come to Pretty Girl and uh, racing at the back of the field to select me. They're coming at the uh, top of the lane and it is still on that lead. Phoenix Risen right against the rail and traveling very easy. That's KP Choice and KP Choice now skitters through and gets that lead and quickly opens up about five lengths already. Coming to the furlong pole, KP Choice, it's a matter of how far this victory will be. KP Choice in front and firmly in control. Legal Bomb is running on for the spoils, also coming on that select me, but it is KP Choice in front and in charge, large and in charge in the second. Running on for second, that's pretty girl. It got tight for third between select me and Bugatti. A very convincing win by the favorite KP Choice. Jockey Radish Roman took control from the gates to the finish, winning by seven and three quarters of a length in one minute, eight and one fifth of a second. Race number three on the card was another restricted allowance event. 1400 meters the trip or seven furlongs. A reduced field of six with the scratch of the gifted one from the one box. Start already. They're off. Fair start, King Air gets a good one with Potential. They wrestle for that lead early as they make their way down the back stretch. Potential comes away with it. King Air, three parts of a length down in second. These two have opened up as they leave the six, some five lengths over Heroin striding out in third. Don Vincenzo races a further two and a half lengths back. And at the back of the field, it's a surety needing to do a lot more as the leaders arrive at the five. The battle up front continues, potential by the flare of a nostril, possibly over King Air in the red sleeves. Heroin watches them from some three lengths back. Don Vincenzo now edging closer all the while as they leave the half mile, and the surety needs a tow truck at the moment as the field will arrive at the 716. Potential has now come through to battle for that lead, and Potential grabs it from King Air as they go flashing past the three. Heroin has faded back. Don Vincenzo racing in behind, possibly seven or eight lengths off that lead, and a surety best forgotten. They're coming into the top of the lane in the third event. A quarter of a mile to run and Potential now asked to go clear. King Air is left three or four lengths back and beginning to struggle. Don Vincenzo has a mountain to climb along with the rest, but it is all Potential on the approach to the furlong pole. Potential out in front and with a clear lead on the Jordan Barrett. Potential running away from them. King Air is hanging on for second with Don Vincenzo. They battle for it as they travel past the final 16th and it's all over. Potential 
a clear and easy winner. Rather having a look behind, easing down, maybe eight or nine in front of Don Vincenzo. Uh, then King Air Surety and Heroin. Trainer Patrick Lynch gets his first win on the card with his four-year-old Colt and a three to five potential who beat Don Vincenzo, King Air and Assurity who ran on in fourth. Race number four was an optional claiming event going six furlongs or 1200 meters. Richard Henry replaced Natalie Berger aboard the Ian Alexander conditioned crushing power. They're off and racing. Last to raw, steps a bit slow and is left at the back of the field. Biblical legend goes for that lead already. It's Biblical legend in front of crushing power racing in second. Right against the rail, that's Galloway Bay. Right beside Galloway Bay, that is Willow Dean. Four lengths away before we come to Golden Emperor and left out of it at the back of the field. That is a last hurrah. They head towards the four and coasting on that lead, but not by far though. That's Biblical Legend, joined by the Grey Crushing Power. These two sharing the lead. They're three or four lengths in front of Willardine Racing in third, racing in fourth. That's Galloway Bay. Behind Galloway Bay, Golden Emperor, and still way out of it. That's the last hurrah. They're coming at the top of the lane, and Biblical Legend kicks once again. Goes on about four lengths in front of toiling into second. That is crushing power. Running on on the outside. That is Willa Dean, but it is in front and looking good from here, I can tell you. Coming to the furlong pole, Biblical Legend coasting home on the confident ride from the bustling Phil Parchment. Biblical Legend has demoled. This is a real demolition job by Biblical Legend and Phil Parchment. You back this one, you can get in line and go get your money for sure. Biblical Legend, clear, double digit, running on for second. It's a real scramble out there. Willa Dean is second. Last around might be third. And a crushing power completing the frame. A gate to wire finish and a commanding 33 lengths victory for the one to nine favorite biblical legend with the bustling Philip Parchment in the saddle for trainer Stephen Todd. Race five was a maiden special weight event for native bred fillies three years old and up. A field of nine was reduced to eight with the scratch of Miss Linton, with Dane Dawkins now in the saddle for Ray and Lewis aboard Crucial Alexa. They're off. Fair start. Crucial Alexia, the grey gets a good one. She's stylish, racing near to us in the white headgear. Is also showing some good early speed. May have that overall lead. Fearless Reina, the grey, nearest to us on the stand fence. As they sort themselves out, they've covered the first furlong and a half. She's stylish. Crucial Alexia, Fearless Reina, they are the main contenders. Glittering Magnum in the pink races on the far side with Always Right. Lion Charmer has come right across to the stand fence and has catching up to do as a fearless Reina now comes through to take charge. Fearless Reina with that lead. Crucial Alexia, the other grey racing in the center. Lion Charmer is right near the stand fence on the far side, always right. But can they catch this fearless Reina? They have a furlong to do it. And it's fearless Reina and a Javanil Patterson beginning to open up the gap. Fearless Reina powering away from them. Inside the final 16th, it's all over. Fearless Reina coming away and will win this comfortably in the end. Fearless Reina by six or more. Lion Charmer just second, always right. Possibly third over Crucial Alexia. Simply Sensational has finished in fifth. Javanil Patterson bravely guides Fearless Reina past the finish post with a winning time of 1 minute and 1 second flat, ousting second place finisher Lion Charmer by 7 and 3 quarter clear lengths. It's now time for a break on the Kimanas Park Highlight Show. On the other side, we'll recap select races on the card from Saturday, October 21, including the day's feature event, the Nigel B. Nunes Memorial Trophy. Welcome back to the Caymanas Park Highlight Show. In the second half of our presentation, we'll recap races 6 to 8. Race 6 was a restricted allowance event going a distance of 1,000 meters. A reduced field of 10 with a scratch of Rocket Lily. Howard Jagai's Bad Galleriri was the most favored among the punters, sent off at odds of 2 to 1. They're off and racing. Nakamura gets a nice start. Also getting a good start. That's traditional boy. Bad Galleries in the middle, quite prominent with Queen Zan over on the far side. 
the good life is there with Prosecco, says there. Spread right across the track. Queen Zan, very prominent in the middle. Bad Galeriri is also there. Right beside Bad Galeriri, that's traditional boy. And Nakamura, as they come to, coming out to the shoot and coming towards the, the two furlong point, it's a while finished, they're spread right across the track. Nakamura and Rudd, the Indian closest to us. Traditional boys right there too. Bad Galeriri is right in the mix. Also there, that is a bridal blush. They're coming to the furlong pole. Bridal blush, Bad Galeriri and Nakamura. Their spreads. Nakamura has now struck the front. Nakamura, here comes on the wide outside. That is Rudd, the Indian. It is... Holding on Nakamura from Rudd the Indian. Nakamura beats Rudd the Indian. Bad Galeriri, Bridal Brush, and a traditional boy. A good ride by the champion jockey Dean Dawkins to get Nakamura over the line in front of the fast finishing Rudd the Indian, who was only beaten by a half of a length. Race 7 was a restricted stakes event covering 7 furlongs, a field of 7 reduced to 10 with a scratch of essential quality. Divine Force, now the mount of Alan Marag. They're off. Sensational move, Atlantic Convoy, Divine Force. Well rejected, Raja has ejected the rider. He's on the ground as the field run toward the six. Captain Calico and Atlantic Convoy share the lead. They bob heads passing the six. Norblar is three and a half lengths back and racing in third. Burning Valor on the outside of Wayne's Princess. Sensational move is the one in the blue sleeves on the rail. Divine Force edging closer to the leading bunch. Easy as ABC toward the back and then the loose horse way at the back. They run toward the final half of a mile. The war up front continues. Captain Calico and Atlantic Convoy, these two heads apart, and now Captain Calico takes the lead. Atlantic Convoy left a length down as they go, passing the 716th. A gap of six or more to Norblar. Divine Force two further lengths back. Just there too, that's Burning Valor. Sensational move has a lot to do. Wayne's Princess toward the back. Easy as ABC is last and looking hopeless. As the field now come thundering into the top of the lane, it's Captain Calico right on the rail with that lead, increasing it by two lengths. Atlantic Convoy trying to close the gap. Atlantic Convoy can't close in on Captain Calico, who maintains the advantage up front. They run past the furlong pole. It is Captain Calico. He's unbeaten so far and looks as if the streak will continue. It's Captain Calico, the rider, wailing away with a right-hand stick. Captain Calico and terrific Tevin Foster come away to win cheekily and easily in the end. Atlantic Convoy some six or more lengths back in second. Norblar is third. Sensational movies. Fourth, close between Divine Force and Burning Valor for fifth. Jockey Tevin Foster gives Anthony Baba Nunez his first win on the Saturday card with Captain Calico who beat the favorite Atlantic Convoy. In second, Norblar, sensational move and Burning Valor rounding off the high five. Race 8 on the card was a day's feature event, ran in honor of the late Nigel B. Nunes, a champion trainer and Hall of Fame inductee who saddled 333 winners throughout his illustrious career. They're off for the Nigel B. Nunes. American Tap comes away with press conference, Ring Charmer in behind them. Moreover, toward the center, True Bravado in the bright orange is running pretty quickly in the early exchanges. Ultimate Machine is in the middle and also showing some good speed. A gift from Ben and Madeline Sunshine, more toward the far side. But they're spread right across the course, and American Tap looks to have that advantage. True Bravado in chase. Luxal just in behind him. Press conference near to us. On the far side, a gift from Ben and Ultimate Machine asked to get going, but American Tap seems to be cruising the rider. Now changing his hold, and American Tap has them all off their legs. Ultimate Machine in the middle. A gift from Ben on the far side with Madeline Sunshine, but this American Tap is in full flight and running away from them inside the final 16th. It's American Tap. A smart one. An American tap comes away to win by maybe five over press conference. Ring Charmer is next. Close between Duke and on the far side, a gift from Ben. The much talked about American tap makes a long awaited debut and lives up to the hype. Dismissing a quality field clock in a blistering 58 and two fifths of a second over the thousand meter straight course. As we recap another exciting week of racing, it was highlighted by a number of notable performances, but more so Biblical Legends Gate to Wire and 33 lengths win margin in race 4, and the Canadian Importing American Taps talented display to win the race 8 feature event. This has been another edition of the Kimana Spark Highlight Show. See you next time.